Hello. I just wanted to show off my current build in Minecraft. Uh, this is another uh, hallway. Uh, not what I'm showing today, but this is my portal. So, you come out here and we're in a mangrove swamp, mangrove forest. And I love I love the mangrove textures. We have this lily pad. Um, we have all this mud, which has this little squishy when you walk. We have frogs. Hi. Hello. Um, yeah, we have, um, it, it took, it took a while to get uh, a lot of, a lot of the, the proper gules and get everything set up, but it was worth it. This looks sick as shit. Um, and here we have a house in the distance and it's a trek up there's not like a natural way to get up and at first i wanted to remedy that i thought about making a path up but due to the subject material i kind of like that it's inaccessible uh, which isn't a thing i say a lot but um yeah we're just gonna gonna work our way up there there's an enderman there so if you manage to make it out of the trees you come over here and you see that there's chicken legs up here it is a oops Baba Yaga house and I I love it honestly I'm really happy with this I kind of I didn't even like I went I went hey what should I put here uh what kind of house do you make in in, in, a, in a in a mangrove swamp that's really ominous and all that and then I went Baba Yaga house and it was you know one and done I didn't even think of an alternative I have oh, I have this I have this ladder as a way in if you manage to climb all the trees to get up here um and yeah I just I just really like the the concept of of it being very out of the way none of it none of it makes it feel like you're supposed to be here right even this even this like ominous like ladder up here is just like uncomfortable all of the all of the space to get up here is uncomfortable the trees are so thick that it's difficult to get up here uh, then you get in here, and I don't really have anything in here, um, but I do, you know, have these little lofts. I have a bed in here. Um, if it was nighttime, maybe it'll be nighttime by the time I finish this. Uh, if it was nighttime, maybe you could see like the little, all the little frog lights and what what it looks like at night, which is also ominous, which I'm a big fan of. Look at what this looks like. I mean, like you, if you can't, if you came in off of the river, off of the ocean, and just come over here. This whole place is just so aesthetic, you know? And then we have this hallway um, where the frogs like to be in. We have this, um, these vines with the glow berries on them. And then we come to here, and all the frogs are just hanging out. And then you come and just walk forward. And then it takes a while to realize you're falling. Uh, and then we're here. We're in uh, a new, darker more ancient primordial mangrove forest with the skulk on top like you you come in here and it feels it feels dimensional right it feels like you've fallen through something and that's that's the kind of thing that i'm going for here i want to feel like oh i where the hell am i you know and it um and here's a sign be sure the forest does not guarantee a path home um, there's also a be sure sign in the, um, uh, in the entryway, which I forgot to show. Also, I, I spelled guarantee wrong, but listen, it's still aesthetic, okay? <laughs> and yeah, it just feels like walking through this, it feels so dark and, and so easy to get lost, right? Um, part of part of the forest doesn't guarantee a way home is also the fact that it's uh, that it, it that I don't know how to get out of here normally. I uh, I fly out of here because I I know that it's in the center, right? I know that I know that that's where the portal is. Um, but like, how do you get how do you get back? You know. Um, yeah, look at this. Look at how look at how dense and and difficult this is to traverse. Um, and, and it's it's like a it's like a scaled up version of the of the mangrove swamp. And then I went, okay, what other secrets does a deep dark forest have, right? Uh, and I went, oh, you know what? And I went, what if I put something under the water? And you have to swim to get down here before like you start taking damage. But then you come here, you come here and you're like, 
lost again. This is all black concrete again. You come here and it says, how many miles to Babylon? It's three score miles and ten. Can I get there by candlelight? Yes, and back again. The road gets longer. If your feet are nimble and your toes are light. A single candle in the darkness. You can get there by candlelight. And so night is falling on the mangrove swamp. We have a frog over there. And the house glows in the dark. Wondering what's in that window, who's looking down at you. And that is my mangrove swamp. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye.